YouTube, what's up? It's your boy David. I'm back again. Today we're gonna be doing thick Mexican hair. If you guys haven't subscribed to my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to comment if you fuck with the video. I'm gonna show you guys the breakdown before I do anything. So step number one, we're gonna set our first guideline from this middle of the C cup, dip it down towards the back of his head. Step number two, we're gonna use the number one guard and we're gonna open up the lever and create a section so we can go ahead and do number th step number three and split the section with the lever open. So I just wanted to give you guys the steps before we go ahead and start the haircut. So I'm going to go ahead in here and, and, and grab my magic clip with the lever closed and I'm going to start creating my first guideline like I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. So I like doing one side and the other side and then I connect it in the back just to make sure that everything's equal. And you guys can see I, I, I point out the occipital bone, I always say occipital bone. It's a, it's a good like two to three inches away from that initial guideline. So you guys can see that I, I zoomed in for you guys and I'm flicking out with my trimmer, almost hitting that top portion of hair, but I'm not really hitting anything. So I do that because it just creates a better transition when I go from my bald to my stubble transition. So it just makes it easier for me to blend out. And I go ahead and I grab my Bronze Series 9 shaver and I shave that line below. So we go ahead and grab our one guard, open the lever, and we want to create a section of about two fingers thick. This just makes it easier for me to go and split my guideline in half with my lever open. So take off the guard, split the guideline. Again, make sure you guys are going over these guidelines multiple times. Like I said, my, my client has really thick hair. So my lever method is explained here. I just wanted to explain it to you guys how to erase that first guideline. So first we start, we're gonna use the middle open close method. You wanna start in the middle. And whenever you put your, your lever in the middle, you wanna attack that guideline in the middle as well. So we're not paying attention to, that, to the guideline on top, but only we're trying to erase that first line that you guys see there. So put your lever in the middle, hit it in the middle, then open everything and hit everything. So just go over the guideline one more time. So after you go middle open, you guys want to close it and hit that bottom line right there that you guys see. So you guys, I'm going to be doing this method throughout the whole, throughout those two guidelines. That's how I'm going to erase everything. So if you guys see me go through the video, it just means I'm going middle open closed. Again, guys, if you guys are really fucking with this education that I'm dropping, subscribe for more videos, hit that subscribe button, comment, let me know what you guys think about this. I, I need the constructive criticism. So only use your corners whenever you guys are, are blending. You guys only want to use your corners. When I fade, I just work on one section and I try to blend out that one section. And then I do the same method across the whole head. I'm going higher as I open. I'm going lower as I close. So again, I start in the middle. Whenever I get lost, I, I just put my lever in the middle and I just restart the whole process again. So once we finish 
blending out that first line you should only see one line now and that's the line that we created with the one with the one guard open so in order for us to erase that line we're gonna have to soften it and then we're gonna go ahead with our 0.5 guard and we're gonna erase that so right now all we're doing is we're going middle open closed just to soften up that guideline it's not gonna fully erase it And we're going to start middle open closed, but be very careful when it comes to blending out this last line right here. You guys just have to kind of use your eyes and really adjust to the dark spots and really lever play the hell out of this step. So he has a four guard on top, so I'm just going to use a two and a half and I'm gonna flick out towards the top of the crown. When I put my 1.5 guard, I do a different lever method. I go open, middle, close. So I start open, I flick out, I put it in the middle, I go a little bit lower, then I close it and I hit that bottom line. quick little tip i like putting out my uh my comb in the middle just to kind of see the the difference in the in the in the hairline on both sides so i see unevenness so i just go ahead and i and i try to fix it real quick probably the most important part of the whole haircut is the lineup especially when you have a client that gets like a three or four the lineup will make or break the haircut so before my man had the thickest hair possible the after, nice and blurry. You got the eyebrow slashes. His hair is super thick. I had to go over the guidelines multiple times. When I, blend them, when I blended them out, I had to do it multiple times. Nice and crispy lineup too. This came out super blurry. If you guys really like this, this tutorial, if you guys liked anything on the video, let me know in the comment section. Again, my Instagram is Escamilla underscore David, as well as my TikTok. I appreciate you guys tuning in one more time. I'm going to keep dropping my weekly videos. Again, have a blessed week. Keep killing it, guys. Peace.